Welcome everyone to an arena video. I'm Andromen Gucci and this video is sponsored you by Wizards of the Coast and ChannelFireball.com. Oh, Pafanculo. Okay, hello, 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 hello. Do you remember Capo Race then? This was a, like a good old friend of ours. A good old friend of ours. So let's see what they're up to. My best mate Capo indeed. Best mate Capo, let's play. Let's play. Don't tune into my channel stream. Let's just play. Oh, I die. What happening right now? Why nobody wants to play Max Me? It might be like 10 minutes of doing literally nothing. All right, so let's just do another quick thing of how does this deck work while everybody just, I don't know, takes the time. Uh, um, so the, the goal of the deck, the goal of the deck is to uh, reanimate Arclet Phoenix or Cripping Chill. That is the goal of the deck. We do that via milling ourselves a lot. Um, Drown of Secrets is a good card to do that. And then you have like Merfolk uh, Secret Keeper, Will of Lost Thoughts, Opt, Radical Idea to just, to, and this person to just get through all your deck. All right, let's go. We have, uh, okay, and we have the classic pair, Crippin' Shield, Arclight Phoenix, which isn't really great. Which isn't really great. But that's okay. So I go Island. Uh, I think I'd rather go. Alright, opponent's playing Simi Gilgit, so that should be the, the goal of Smash that we're looking for. What do I recommend to play Rich Mythic? Something fast, something something aggressive. Maybe like GB Adventure. I don't know. Blue Green Oko. Something fast so that you can uh, grind uh, faster. I, th I think the speed is all that matters when you have to reach up. And then once you're in, you, you can just ladder up with them. Or Wool of the Lost Thought. That is a lot of cards. I think I just have to keep the Wool of the Lost Thoughts here. Although, mm, maybe I should only have... I think it's... Mm, maybe I should only have... Uh, drawn in Secrets. I should just graveyard everything until I draw Drawn in Secrets. No, I think this is a great turn to play. I think this is a great turn to play. Our mission briefing. Okay, let's go. What of the last thoughts to myself past the turn? Un, due, tre, quattro. All right. I wish I'd draw these cards, but that's fine. Growth Spiral. All right. Growth Spiral on turn two is definitely how does the deck want to start. We don't have the, the drowning secrets, so... All right, let's do this. If we lose this, this match, we drop the deck. Okay, chat? This match is high high stake. High stake. Alright. Ay ay ay. Do they go for uh Gross Power of Circus route? That is a strong start. Okay, so we have opt in the graveyard. So I definitely want to play this arc I definitely want to play this radical idea because I want to be able to next turn go Arclet Phoenix. So next turn I need to reanimate Arclight Phoenix. How to do that? How to do that? If I have the Merfolk Scorch Keeper now, sorry, Secret Keeper now, next turn I don't have uh, three spells to reanimate the Phoenixes. Uh, I think I am going for the Secret Keeper. Me and myself for four. And then I play Radical Idea on my opponent's turn. Alright, this was this was good hit. Yeah, play Radical Idea on my opponent's turn. So next turn, we can either draw one drop and do the things with the mission briefing, or we can just discard Arclight Phoenix to then get up the next turn after. So right now we have an Arclight Phoenix in the graveyard. It's okay, Knip. I'd rather just play I'd rather just play ladder right now. Okay, they got a uh, Crazes, which is a 4-4 to block my Phoenixes. Field of Dead, of course. Okay. We do have a wall, so that could save us some life. I'm gonna play Radical at the end of our turn, and then I just draw a card. What is it? A land. 
Okay, Drowning Secrets we drew. Okay, great. So I'll play Drowning Secrets, pass. So I can Radical Idea, discard the Phoenix, end of turn. And then the turn after, we can reanimate as many Phoenixes as I can. Alright, so they attack me for probably nothing. Oh, they do attack me, sure. Alright, good. I go to 19. And now, if we mill them well, we can just one-shot them. I don't know. If they go to the Fairy Bounce, the Journey Secret is bad. Because that would just shut off at least six or more cards to mill. Six or eight cards to mill. Just to go crazies into crazies. That's okay. We do have some to bounce that. 21. I don't know. There could be a way where 21 is enough. Thank you, Gnip. You give a one sub to Mr. Ron1NN. <laughs> Thank you, Gnip. You didn't have to do it. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. We drew a crazy a Phoenix, unfortunately. Ay, ay, ay. I guess I should have just mission briefed it. Mission briefed it. <sighs> Is there a summon in my graveyard? There isn't, but I can find it. So that's the fifth land. So I could go mission briefing and summon cast the thing and summon. Okay, so I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna play the zero four. Meal myself for two. And then play mission briefing. Hope to find a summon and then bounce my zero four to just mill as many cards as I can. That is the goal of this turn. Alright, I find an opt, which I think is good. I think opt is good here, so I'm gonna take the opt. No, actually it's not good. Because I'm gonna mill myself regardless. Yep, so what do we mill? Did I find uh, unsummon? I did not find unsummon. That's unfortunate. Okay, so if we take discovery, I guess I'm taking discovery here. Just don't mill yourself. No, I have to mill myself, that's the, that's the goal of the deck. So I take discovery here from the mission briefing. Give myself for two. Unsummon. There it was. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Radical idea. It's okay in the bin, so that I can discard Arclight Phoenix next turn. All right. Drew drown in secret. All right. Goal loss. All right, next turn I could die, so it is very hard to kill them this turn. I guess it's probably impossible at this point. But yeah, the gross part into Circular's route was definitely strong. Good versus yeah, yeah. It it has a good matchup against Golos. I'm pretty positive about that. It's just it's just my point that good draws and we didn't. So <laughs> that, that's okay. We have we have more games to try. All right, so we block. Take seven. All right, I have six lands. I think in order to win this game, it is physically impossible to win at this point, I think. Because if I mill two creeping shields, my opponent goes to 15. And then three Arclight Phoenix don't do the trick. Sorry, four Arclight Phoenix don't do the trick. So what is the plan that we can do? Can we survive? I don't think so, but I'll try. I'll try and see what happens here. With a Crippin' Shield, I go up to 18, so maybe we can survive. It's just that we didn't reanimate Phoenixes. That, that, that is the bigger problem. I just need to chain like super well right now, like opt into... Another one drop, so it's very hard to happen. I think this is the what gives you the, the highest chance. And someone was a very good draw there. How many phoenixes are in my graveyard? And how many creeping chills? 
Un, due, tre. Yeah, I'm gonna just mill myself for eight. But I don't know if uh, the... I don't know if the phoenixes are uh, enough. I don't know if four phoenixes are enough. I'm on 18. Alright, so I have four phoenixes here. But then again, this, this turn should have happened last turn, not now. Alright, so my opponent is on 12. Unfortunately, it's not lethal. So I'm on 18. They have 18 zombies and two crazes. So if I block a zombie, how many, how many, yeah, I think I have to just pass. Where, where are my watery grave? Uno, uno, two, three. There should be a watery grave in my deck, I think. Maybe I miscounted, I don't know. Can you draw Jace? I don't think I have Jace in my deck right now. I think maybe maybe we could play more Jace. Uno, do it. Yeah, maybe we could play more Jace. I think it's very possible that we just mill yourself. Oh, Kenrith, nice. I think now it's very easy lethal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be easy lethal. All right, all right, concede. Yeah, I mean, crazy into crazy was on turn. This my opponent went. Gross Spiral Circus route crazes crazes. That is a very good start, and we reanimated on turn six, which sometimes you want to reanimate on turn five. All right, so we want all the Ashiaks. I don't care about Mystical Dispute. It does counter the Fairy, but I think I'm not about it. Uh, I think same thing for this Deadful Stroke. All right, what do we want to kill? What do we want to cut? Maybe on Summon. And maybe Wall of the Lost Thoughts. Maybe just all the Wall of the Lost Thoughts. No, I think on Summon Wall of the Lost Thoughts is a good combo. I don't know, I just don't really know what to do. I think Ashuk is a solid card. You just mill yourself, so it's okay. Yeah, I don't think so. Seven Deadly Sins, Dota. I think uh, this deck is a very strong self mill plan. Very, very strong. On turn six, we dredged three Creeping Chills and four Arclet Phoenix on turn six. Okay, that's usually good enough against... Uh, against any slow deck in the format, which is definitely what um, happens a lot right now. So, milling your opponent, it's not good enough, because you only have Drowning Secrets to mill your opponent, so it's so, enough. What about my Lokmer Serpent? Uh, you only have four black sources, my friend. Only four. The four black sources are basically free sources, so that you can either I I I cast a... Uh, uh, creeping chill or uh, dispersal, but usually you just don't care about it. Just mono blue. Need more Jace. Yeah, Jace is good. Maybe sideboard. Ashok is good here. Um, let's see. I mean, Ashok stops them from going Circus Route and Golos, so I think that's that's good. But other than that, I don't know how good it is, honestly. I'm sure, mainly a Sulfur Four is nice. It's a nice bonus, so that's why it's in the sideboard. Yeah, I don't know about Wall of the Lost Thought. Maybe Unsummoned would just be better. Just to combo with the 0-4. Yeah, exactly, Burbone. Uh, Jace is just uh, the B plan, I think. Okay, so I could play Drowning Secrets to start reeling myself, or I could just hit a land drop to play Ashiok. I don't know what's the best line here. Playing Radical ID, I think it's reasonable, but I think I'd rather just get greedy and play Drawing Secrets Pass. I'll play Drawing Secrets and Pass. Just a greedier play. It is a greedier play. Hmm. Gross Power is very strong. Alright, let's see what happens next turn. If I draw land, I'm glad. I don't. I'll play Radical Idea. Give myself for two. Then hopefully I hit the land so I can play Murphal Scorch, the Secret Keeper. And me and myself for four. So six, sorry. Then next turn, I can play Ashiok. Hopefully they don't go Growth Spiral Circus route again. 
twenty dollars was the right amount. Um, this deck only needs like three or four lands and plays like so many cantrips to find them. Flooding is definitely a problem. Meaning your opponent? No, don't meal opponent, please. <laughs> this deck is a self meal deck, Chris. You want to <laughs> meal your uh, your things? All right, fear of wishes. What does it find? It finds a more ego. Okay, now, now that my opponent did that, I think we can change our plan here and stop milling ourselves. Because milling ourselves only, 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 only looks for Phoenix, and my opponent is very likely to just name Phoenix. So now I think we change plan. So I play Drawn in Secrets, mill them, and then I play World of the Lost Thoughts and pass. Target them, of course. So we mill them for eight. This is a you know different game because my opponent is about to exile our wow, plus fire invention, really? What is my opponent deck? Fires of invention. Is that Mexican food? No, 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 definitely not. Definitely not. Mexican and Indian food are too spicy for me. And then and then I always uh and then I always uh after after eating those food, I always mango toilet emoji. For me, yeah, yeah, exactly, pedrante, pedrante. You have to understand when to change gears. You have to understand when change gears. Arclight Phoenix, okay. Yeah, I self meal via Mexican Indian food, exactly. You love those, Bri Black? <laughs> Our opponent has set 37 cards in the deck. That means so many cards now. I mean, if we had uh, the Phoenixes in our deck, this would have been an easy turn five win. Easy. Easy, 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 I think. Because this turn we would have gone Murphos Corch Keeper, Mission Briefing, Murphos Corch Keeper, or whatever, and that would have been over. But opponent exiling our Phoenixes makes us milling them, which will also be very strong. I guess I should have milled, <laughs> I should have milled uh, eight first and then uh, exiled for Ashiok. That was a mistake, but... I don't think it matters too much. So when there's 21 cards in the deck, we have uh, a lot of cards here. Yeah, yeah, I should have done that. I don't know how much I like this card. This card is obviously good with Fires of Invention, but on its own, it's just too slow. Yeah, very ironically, right after asking your milling your opponent, yes, yes, the, the Amor Ego was, uh, was the reason. Put into so many cards. <laughs> All right, we just don't raid them. Very nice. It's okay. Next game. Uh, Oruk. Maybe it's just fun. I don't know. We're we're trying to find out. Put into so many cards in the deck. Nineteen. So much to do with Millier. Unfortunately, you can't mill with Mission Briefing. Sorry, you can't flashback Merfolk Scorch Keeper with Mission Briefing. Should be enough, right? We should be able to cast all the spells this turn. Did you build this deck? No, I did not. I did not. I played against this deck uh, on the ladder. Actually, in some cases, look at the look on Reed's face there. You can't quite believe what's happening to him. I will, OG Slayer, I will be at the MC Richmond. Thank you for, thank you for uh, what you said, and I hope, I hope we'll, we'll, I'll meet you there. Thank you also for the sub. All right, so Unsummon can also bounce my own wall. That would be four cards, they go to 11, then I cast a wall, four cards, they go to seven, and a mill. Yeah, it should be lethal. I can just cast these two, whatever. Oh, you know what I have? Yeah, yeah, this is a better line. I'm able to mill a lot of cards this turn. Because I haven't summoned to bounce my own Merfolk. Thank you, thank you. Let's meet there, OG Slayer. I'm gonna be playing the PT on uh, Friday, and then if I don't make day two, I'll play the GP for sure. All right, I misclick the Disney full stroke in. All right, so my opponent is playing really a wild deck. I didn't see the fairy though. 
So maybe I'm not bringing in, uh, where is it? Oh, I didn't bring it in, the, 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 the Mystical Disputes. Yeah, I just only brought in Ashiok. I think I like it. I don't know about Unsummon and Wall. I don't know about Unsummon and Wall. Maybe I should have Aethergust. Because Aethergust deals with fires. Aethergust deals with uh, Circus Route. No, I don't want cards like that. I don't want cards like that. Maybe this Devil Stroke, though. This Devil Stroke must be strong, right? This Devil Stroke must be strong. Okay, let's go with this. How come you're not testing for the PT? What? Today, Mango discovered the answer to the meta. Milling Golos. Yeah, 26 Island. We could have milled ourselves very easily and won, but opponent and Murdy got the Phoenixes, so we had to do the other one. Stroke is good against Rotten Fire? Yes. Yes. But you still have to leave mana up in a deck that very often just wants to tap out. This end is so bad. We do have two cantrips that can find a rash. I think I keep just because of lands and spells. What do you do if you draw Phoenix? You have Radical Idea. You mill yourself Radical Idea and then discard it. Isn't it better to go all meal up? Oh, no, it's not. And creeping chill. <laughs> Are there any new Seth something coming? No, no, no. They just... A patch just came out two, two, two weeks ago. Next one, you have to wait a lot of time. All right, let's play Discovery. Looking for Ashiok mainly. Looking for Ashiok mainly. Okay, so they play once upon a time. I hope to draw some uh, blue cards and not the pay the cards that should be in the graveyard. I'm glad Kylo Ren. Thank you for thank you for sharing that. La Madonna di porca puttana. All right. Take a pass here. I will just radical idea in their turn. Just leave mana up. Maybe they, maybe, maybe they play a weaker card. Would you board out Crip and Chill in this matchup? My, my game plan doesn't change. I don't think my game plan changes. Like, my game plan changed because my opponent had more ego myself. Otherwise, I just mean myself. Alright, I think what happened in this match was that... Alright, let's see. The game is not over. I'm, I'm very much behind. Very much behind here. The guy I'm interviewing today, I don't think it's the, today. I don't think it's is coming. All right. All right. Let's play radical idea because I want to draw maybe drawn in secrets things like that. And summon. All right. Let's play wall. Me and my. S I do me myself or my opponent, guys. What do you think? I mean myself. A quack, okay, am I holding event to bring hostage in the bathroom? The bathroom is where I have to go after this game for sure. In the bathroom. Just drink so much water when I stream. Because in the morning you just drink a lot of water and especially when you talk. So it's just... You guys like milling opponents so much. Without drowning secrets, it's very hard to meet your opponent. Do you have a reusable straw? I have glasses. They are basically reusable straws. Because you can wash them after done, maybe. Alright, they go for the Morty Ego plan again. Alright, I draw a card of the Phoenix. Why don't you play for Steam Bands to Arcade Phoenix? Usually, you have Radical Idea, that's enough. You don't always draw two Phoenixes every game. Okay, so I draw a card off of the um, Amor League. I draw Ashiok. I don't know how stable it's gonna be. All right. I'm gonna do the following play of milling themselves with the Venture Deeper. Then I'm going to cast a Merfolk Scorch Keeper to block these two creatures. And then I'll play Ashiok to mill them. Without drawing secrets, it's gonna be very hard to mill them successfully. My real life teammates, 
Uh, for Arena Pity, we don't, we don't do that. Agent of Treachery. Oh, Kamadoska. Alright. What are you thinking of playing for the PT? I'm not going to say it in the stream. Gnip. You've tried your best. Right now, I'm tr I'm right now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do other things right now. Right now I think I'll play on the ladder a little bit. My opponent is definitely a good player. They're ranked 53 and they're playing a very interesting deck. Also they had uh, definitely the right tools to beat my deck. Arena MC? I don't know. I just Arena MC is like <laughs> Arena MC is uh I don't know. The deadline is so early. The deadline is so early. It's insane how, how early the deadline is. It's just basically not feasible to have the deadline that early. The deadline is tomorrow, today, and the MC is like in two weeks. All right? It just doesn't make any sense. They have to do it because they have to like do some, I don't know, test or something with the cards. But like, it just makes, I think it makes like less good of a show. Personally, to have the deadline that, that 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 early, and like that also makes it impossible to test in paper, or at least the PT is uh, the, not this summer, not this Sunday. The one after. Do you all sit there testing with your laptops? No, no, no I play paper. I I love playing paper. I love playing paper whenever I am test for the air, uh, the real PT. You know why the deadline is so early? I don't know. I don't. So yeah, we don't we don't test uh, we don't test in uh, in person for that. Actually, we, I think I also I also test way way less for the arena MC. It's just it's just feeling right now. It's just feeling right now. Playing dredge, yeah. Although our opponent stole our Ashiok, so now we're just we're just playing mill. Twenty four cards against twenty seven. We keep on drawing creeping shield. Very nice, and by very nice I mean putana boya. All right, let's play Radical Idea. All right, you can cast Creeping Shield, nice. Uh, I'll play this Murphal Scorch Secret Keeper. And I could unsummon it and mail them again. I think that is my play. And I replay it, yes. I can also just, I can also just do this with a wall, it's the same. Yeah, right? It's the same, correct? Yeah, it's the same. You still have Jace? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I mean, my opponent has Ashiok, so... Like, I have really no control over my top of my deck and etc. Opponent has 22 cards. I mean, without drawing secret, it's very hard to meet your opponent if they do something Speed drain. This deck definitely. This deck definitely makes you angry. I think <laughs> uh, because it's like I don't know. I've just been drawing this creeping shield so often. <laughs> I don't know, but like I don't know how long have you been staying in the stream. But I think I've drawn creeping shield more than any other card in this deck. Do you sideboard opponent mill cards? Uh, is there any opponent mill cards uh, by? Any the problem is that the meta right now change. Uh, you know the black gold. I think that the meta game changes are usually done by MPL or just streams in general. So if the MPLers don't play too many new decks, it, the meta game does not change. Like if people don't say, if people would have not say anything for a week, I think just would, everybody would have played in gold. Also. You should play a more eager to mill twenty. What? Ah, uh, Ulam, Ulam, okay. All right, they cast the uh, granted. I don't know how many cards I have in my deck currently. Ashok would be bad. All right, GG, this is game. All right, this is a uh, somewhat a tough, tough match to lose because I think it's a very good matchup, but things went very, very wrong. All right, let's, let's play one more, and then I go to the bathroom. I'll just hold it. I'll just hold it for one turn. So how does the mill feel? It's tier two, tier one. I mean, definitely not tier one. Usually, you want to self mill 
is that my opponent uh, um, played uh, Fail of Wishes, so they got a Mord Ego and made me change the plan because I didn't have Arkham Phoenix. The interviewer is back. Uh, no, 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 no interviewer. No interviewer. You know what, what, what I would love to be back? I would love uh, opponents on the ladder to be back. Where are you? Oh, we got one. All right, a Mr. Asian characters. Mr. Asian characters that I'm sure someone in the chat knows how to read them slash what they mean. Looking into standard to play Magic, would you recommend starting video game or STCG? Maverick Nova, what is your question? I've only played Magic my whole life, so I don't know anything else other than Magic the Gathering. Are you going to Utrecht this weekend? I am not. Quick question. Casting a Stomp with two Clovers would not trigger Phoenix. No, 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 no. For Phoenix, you have to cast it. Also, if you play Phoenix and Crippinchy in your deck, apparently you're required to draw them every time. But that is fine, we still have drawn in secrets. I think this game 3 we should have Mulligan the hand also remembered. How confident are you on the deck selection for MC at B? For MC5. Very bad. I just, you know, I think it's fine, but it's nothing special. And uh, I don't know. I, I'm honestly not the best M MC Arena practicer, I would say. I, I just. I prefer paper one. All right, Mr. Asian character, uh, do you want to play against me? Or how does it go today? We just can't play anything. We just have to steer PT. Mangu, I got PTQ the 2010. 2010. What do you suggest? Blue Green Flash is very good, ETRS. Yes. Yes, Blue Green Flash is very good. Modern. Uh, Jam Snake, I don't play Modern nor discuss about it. I'm very sorry. All right, we won the match. As I promised, I would have gone to the bathroom after the match. That is. Can you tell us if all Cinefrabble is playing the same deck? Uh, I cannot because I have no idea. I don't practice with Channel Fireball. All right. Oh, I thought this was auto auto match win. Arena's been working pretty slow for me. Um, that's not Arena fault, so it's just uh, my opponent not playing. Let's say the things right. Arena is doing very well for me. All right, Mr. Asian character, after conceding game one, do you want to play or does, how does it work? Oh, wow, they play. They just wanted to get a... They just were like, I, I think my main deck is not very good. Let's just go to sideboard. They, their, they, their name has the word for fish. Okay, so we can call it fish puree. Puree is an Italian food. It is a potato. Usually they don't put fish into it. It's just... Pure is mashed potato in Italian. All right, let's play the key, the card key, drawing secrets. So confident is giving you this, yeah. Versus diamond, yes, diamond is definitely a lul emoji. All right, sacred Foundry, So my opponent uh, is playing Jess guy, Teferino. Teferino, okay. All right, all right. I think I'll just recast drawing secrets. Just because I want to ma to mill the maximum amount of cards, and I think Drowning Secrets first is the best. You can cast on some with no targets. This game would have been so easy for our Chinese friend, so he decided to give you a free win. Is he Chinese? I don't think in China they are allowed to play on Arena. Must be... Usually we play against the Japanese. In China they, they, they don't have Magic Arena, right? Yeah, the Japanese for sure. Yeah, I agree. I think like, like there is obviously some Chinese speaker country that ever that ever that have arena, but I think in China per se they don't have arena. All right. So what do we do here? What do we do here? Uh, I think I want to play Discovery. I don't, um, Li Shitan is from Hong Kong, as you might know, and uh, as you might know, Hong Kong is not China. All right, definitely want to draw the drowning secrets. I'm gonna just draw it and play it. Don't mention Hong Kong, Jesse. All right, we play that. Okay, I would love to mill a creeping shield slash phoenix. We will definitely mill them. Sorry, mill ourselves entirely with these two cards. 
My Chinese friend just play with a VPN. I don't know what it is. Sorry. Like Singapore and Hong Kong, they're both are Chinese speaking countries, right? What other countries Chinese speaking? Is it uh, like the islands, like Taiwan? Yeah, Taiwan must be also that. All right, I drew Arclet Phoenix right on time. Okay, what do we do now? What do we do now? I think I want to start off with a radical idea from the graveyard, discard Phoenix. Me and myself for four. I'm not gonna draw a card, but it's not a big deal. I mean, it is somewhat a big deal, but it's not like that big. And then in order to reanimate, how many phoenixes I have? Only one? So I can go on summon in response on summon. Actually, I can't do that because there's the fairy. Hmm. So I definitely played the wrong cards. My apologies, chat. I did not play this well. Am I dead on board? I thought I was about to reanimate the phoenix for sure, but I can't reanimate it. So I'm going to just play wall mill myself and hope not to die. It's not very good, but I did that already, so whatever. I was supposed to play Mission Briefing, Opt, and then Unsummon, and then Reanimate the Phoenix. Because I would have been on myself for a lot, so I would have find uh, the things. I think I still, uh, unless my opponent does something awkward, like granted for a mood ego and takes my Phoenixes away, I think I'm in a good spot. How does this deck wait? Yeah, mill yourself and reanimate the phoenixes. Opponent did attacks for uh, 16, but we did two creeping chills, so we're 26. They're only level on the other end. So if they don't go granted for a mood eagle, I'll very likely just win next turn. Control double on summon, I can't do control double on summon because of the fairy. Oh no, they do that, fuck. Hmm. I play Kashi War. It's good enough though. If I don't draw land, I can't reanimate Phoenixes. I might be Phoenix to have in the Grar. I don't know. I don't know. It's usually a surprise. It's usually a surprise how many Phoenix are in the dark. Are in the are in the deck. Ay ay ay, they bounce to fire, so they have to cast something now. What do they have here? More Teferi to bounce my drowning secrets. Shimmer. A ben. Alright, can't play anything in upkeep. Not a set. Okay, that's fine. Alright, I have to draw either a land or a one mana spell. If I do that, I could win. If, uh, I'm dead. I'm dead, because I'm going to kill the fourth land, so I can't... Yep, and... GG. We just survived for landing upkeep. I... Wait. I thought it was a Teferi in play. Where did the fairy go? Hey, chat, where did the fairy go? My opponent had the fairy. Where did the fairy go? You know what happened? They animated the fair with Sarkhan, they, they took three loyalty out of it, so the fair was on zero loyalty, it still attacked, and then it died end of turn. Putana. I should have paid more attention. Why, man, good, don't you pay attention? Alright, I think I just want this, I don't want... Alright, let's go with this. Exactly, seven deadly sins. That's what happened. I didn't see that. If I go if I go for uh mesh briefing in upkeep and I find the land, I would have won the game. So that was brutal, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep this hand. This could be anything. Alright. Four of a kind. Looking for drawing a secret. Mystical dispute? Oh my. 
You should don't play standard, but it's not the deck. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, uh, Jim Snake. This is called the Magic the Gathering. You're kind of allowed to play every deck. We are today trying this mono blue. So this could be standard if you wanted to. If you want to play... Uh, I want to draw both of these cards. So I'm going to. I don't want to play Opt. I don't want to play Opt if the second card I want to draw it. That's just wasting uh, resources. The meta is usually kind of meh. Where there's only 5 standard standard. It, it is true. The meta game is uh, as less decks. But at the end of the day... Standard is still full of uh, cards, and you can play whatever you want. There's like at least, uh, you know, 10 decks that are viable, I guess, right now. Okay, Phoenix is in the graveyard. Do I want to draw the fifth land? I think so. I think I want to draw the fifth land here. Because next turn I can go Discovery, Radical Idea, Opt. How does this deck win? You mill yourself. I mean, so far we haven't won a lot, but that is the, that is the idea. I think uh, if I mean myself is better. What about Narcomoiba? It is playable. Yes, it is playable. You can't play Magic for fun. Yeah, that, that is that is what a lot of people think. Radical Ideas. Yes, I would love to draw Radical Idea. I draw Jace Wilder of Mysteries. Not great. Opponent has a Narset in play. And La Madonna. Alright, I play. I just throw a Jace into this. I basically just uh, mill myself and I can't draw a card and then pass. This must be the last game that we play. What's with the record with this deck? Not very good. We lost, uh, did we lose like every game? We're very likely to lose every game with this deck so far. I think I've won something at the beginning. But yeah, I wasn't playing against uh, good decks, I guess. Yeah, 0 9 is very like This deck is very likely to be 0 9 at the moment. So. Yeah, yeah, the, the win place is, is that we, we do that. What was the standard? What was the best standard for meta for it? For me, it was um, Band Company. That was the best standard for me. But the, the standard of. I think the only game that we've won so far is game one against this guy when they disconnected. How many phoenixes have in my graveyard? One. I can really two phoenixes. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do it. I'll basically just discard three cards to reanimate two phoenixes. That deck can kill the two planeswalkers and then I can maybe do something. Or I can also just attack my opponent and hope to kill them. What do you guys think? Should I attack my opponent here? Opponent goes to 5. That even if they go Ogin kill one of them, I can just discovery a Creeping Chill. How many Creeping Chill have I find? Only one. I think I just have to go for the kill here and hope. Do a quattro say try it. Yeah. I just I just, I think I just I think I just hope for the kill. Did you like Gild of Standard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gild of Ravnica, Gild of Ravnica Standard was good. Nexus was kind of oppressive, but it was good. All right, no, no, no. Only meal. It's not. It's not a good strategy. Okay, can we win now that they bounce all by phoenixes? I guess we have a line. All right, guys, are you ready for the line? The line is that we have to mill uh, the two creeping chills. We have only one in the graveyard. Bella mm, merda. All right, so we play Drowning Secrets. We play Discovery. Come on, we have to find two creeping chills in the top four cards of the deck. Can we do that? Ay ay ay! Alright, good game. Ah, wait, wait, it's not.